brother Randy. I tell him scary stories about monsters until he just begs me to stop. And I'm always teasing him by pretending to see monsters everywhere. I guess that's why no one believed me the day I saw a real monster. Until it was too late. Randy! Haven't you ever heard of the razor-toothed toe biter? What do you mean, toe biter? It got Becky and Lila next door. They're playing in their waiting pool. Couldn't they see it coming? Toe biter can camouflage itself as anything, even water. You're lying! Ask Becky to take off her shoe. She'll show you. Ask her. Don't use your foot! Do it real quick. Stop scaring your little brother. Oh, Mom, it was just a joke. How did all your toes go back? Haven't I asked you not to tell him monster stories? Max, your toe better give me back my toes, because I promised to cut yours off and give them to him tonight. No! Lucy, what's the point of having a little brother if you can't torture him? Lucy, don't you have reading rangers at the library? Why don't you go and bother Mr. Mortman for a while? Well, what did you think? Two thumbs down. But Lucy, Black Beauty is a classic. It would have been better if the horse had two hats. <sighs> and big old gnarly fangs. Why don't you go pick another book? Hey, Lucy, what are you getting? Frankenstein. Cool. Are you sure, Lucy? Frankenstein is a classic as well. Yeah, but this one's got a monster. Wouldn't it be cool if there were real monsters? Well, I'm not so sure, Aaron. Most people like to be frightened in movies or stories. in real life. Aaron, you ever notice anything weird about Mortman? Like his creepy, beady little eyes. And his sweaty little hands. When he gave me my book, it was so slimy, I almost dropped it. Yeah? Ugh. Oh, my blades. I forgot them at the library. Oh, man, I gotta get home. Oh, no big deal. I'll see you later.
Coochie, 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 coochie. Don't be shy. <sighs> It's dinner time, my furry friend. <laughs> <laughs> Some crunchy crickets, my little friends. after you've washed your hands and set the table? Dad, this is no joke. Larry, you're making them too big. I happen to like big meatballs. Doesn't anyone here believe me? His eyes popped out of his head, and he was eating bugs, and everyone here thinks I'm making it up. Gee, I wonder why. What? You don't believe me either? Calm down, Lucy. You're totally obsessed. Ooh, big word. Well... You'll believe me soon enough. I'll prove it to you. Didn't you think that the monster was the most sympathetic character in this story? Do you believe in monsters? Perhaps we all have a little monster in us. Lucy. Why don't you go pick another book while I tidy up? I'll see you tomorrow, then. Yeah, right. See ya. Who 
there. Forgetting something, Lucy. Your library card has your address on it. Mortman knows where you live. So what? He could be on his way to your house this minute. That's not funny, Aaron. If I were you, I'd get out of there right now. Good evening, Lucy. May I come in for a minute? No. My parents aren't home right now. I mean, they'll be home any minute. I mean, they're in the bathroom. Mom, is Dad still cleaning his rifle? It's okay, Lucy. It's really you that I've come to see. You left your backpack at the library. I have it right here. This is yours, isn't it? Could you maybe just... Leave it on the doorstep. Okay. Um, wouldn't it be easier if you open the door and let me hand it to you? I'll just set it down here. Thank you. Oh, it's no trouble. It's on my way. I look forward to our next little chat. on his way at all. Come on, we're wasting time. The photo place is gonna close. Now, Lucy. Please. <gasps> Let me see. Let me I see. knew it. Ah. Let's go. Nice work. Randy, get into the car, please. You heard your father. <sighs> You're quite the photographer. Mr. Mortman, what are you doing here? Have you been thinking about monsters again? Mr. Mortman, thanks very much for bringing home Lucy's backpack today. Oh, uh, it was nothing. I was on my way. 
Mr. Morkman, why don't you come over for dinner tomorrow night? Lucy's been talking a great deal about you. It'd be nice to get to know you better. Well, that would be lovely. Thank you. It's been so long since I've had a home-cooked meal. <laughs> don't you see he's a monster? The fact that he's not in this picture proves it. I don't care if he's a drooling werewolf. He's coming for dinner. Remember your best behavior. This is very kind of you. Oh, it's nothing. Our pleasure, really. <laughs> Good evening, Lucy. Nice to see you again, young Randy. Will you be joining us for Reading Rangers next year? Can I sleep on it? <laughs> of course. My, what a, a lovely house. Lucy, offer Mr. Mortman a meatball. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> What's for dinner? Well, it was going to be a surprise, but... Since you asked, you are. <coughs> Excuse me, I thought you said that. That's right. You. You are. Close call. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Now listen, both of you. You can never, ever let anyone know that we are monsters. We know that. And we can't have any other monsters in town either. And do you know why? Because they might tell other people about us. And they'd be frightened. And they'd chase us away. Or worse. Mr. Mortman's the first monster to come around in 20 years. Besides us, of course. That's why it took us so long to believe you, Lucy. And when you two get bigger, you're going to get your training fang. That's right. Before long, you and Randy will be able to transform just like your father and me. Oh, no. Another one. Not another Mortman. What are we going to do? Just finished dinner. Oh, <laughs> man. Talk about time. Well, what's for dessert? Well, it was going to be a surprise, but since you asked... You? Like cherry pie? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.